welcome back to my channel um firstly you guys are like living on the edge right now because let me actually just take a video of how i have this set up at the moment so as you guys know i am currently in london and i don't have all my equipment with me not that i have a lot um because i literally use the minimum but all i have here is my camera and a tripod which is like one of those with the bendy arms which i so regret and i'm about to get a new one um but for situations like this kudos to the tripod i'm actually just going to take a video and show you guys so you guys are living on the edge at the moment as you can see there's like one foot hanging out like but at least i got you guys on and i'm about to film my q and a As you guys know, I um, put a poll up on Instagram and I, not a poll, like a question thing on Instagram, I'm telling you guys to ask a few questions. So I've been wanting to film a Q&A for a really long time because I get so much questions and it's just easier to sit down and answer it with you guys. Um, and I thought it would be quite nice if I just ask you guys what you want to hear and then answer that to my best ability. So just a little disclaimer, um, I will not be answering any questions about Misha. I just feel that when the time is right I'm, and I feel like I want to share the story, then I will do that with you guys. So any questions about her will unfortunately not be answered in this vlog. And secondly, um, some of these questions I have answered on my um, Q&A on Instagram before, but I thought might as well just give it a go again. Also, some of the questions were asked a few times uh, like just differently so i just put them into one question and i'm just gonna answer that as one the first question was um how old was i when i started modeling so when i was 15 um i went to go watch watch <laughs> sometimes i can't speak english when i was 15 i went to go watch phantom of the opera with my mom and a friend and there one of the scouters from boss scouted me and um, gave me his card me and my parents like kind of just ignored it because i think like from a parent's perspective they always just hear the bad of all the modeling and um they hear about the drugs and about like all the bad stuff so I was 15 at that time and my parents just kind of wrote it off but then a few months later the um like owner from boss contacted my mom and asked her to just please bring me in and we can just sit down and have a chat and from there everything started so um everything started really quickly for me and i'm very grateful about that and i actually started traveling alone when i was 15. um I have to say I do enjoy I do I do enjoy traveling and I have always enjoyed it but I had to really grow up really quickly because I started traveling so young I don't regret anything um, and I mean I've been in this industry now for seven years and I'm still enjoying it um, it has its ups and downs but so far I'm still going strong and giving it my best just put the questions down on my laptop like some of them just to make it easier for me and then before I end, I'll just check in if there's any new questions. So the second question was, did you model while you were in school? And if yes, do you wish you waited until you were finished? So as I said just now, I started modeling when I was 15. So yes, I did model while I was in school. And I also traveled while I was in school. And do I wish I waited until I finished school? Um, for me, it's like a yes and a no answer because no because i really enjoyed every second of it and i got to see the world and at that time it felt really cool and i felt like you know i'm modeling i'm traveling all my friends are in school school is lame who wants to go to school you know but now when i look back at it i'm like i don't wish i didn't do it i just wish that I would have been in school more and i would have attended more of the social stuff because i always say like um I really missed out on all, a lot of fun stuff because it wasn't the important stuff. The important stuff was exams and uh, tasks and stuff that, that I had to be handed in. And stuff with the important stuff which I had to be there for. But the other stuff like the social stuff was the not important stuff. And for those stuff I would usually, um, I would miss those stuff and I would be traveling or I would be working. And if I look back to it now, I kind of wish that I 
was in school for those stuff and I was just a kid for a bit longer and I just enjoyed being young for a bit longer because I had to grow up quickly um, but I don't regret it but I would definitely recommend girls who may be thinking of starting modeling to maybe just wait until they are out of school because modeling is not going to run away but school is and to be honest you're, you're going to miss it when you're out the adult life isn't always as great as it seems next question <laughs> sorry guys by the way if you hear a train every now and then it's because here in london where i live i live like next to a train track and it can be very irritating ask me i have to sleep every night here and some nights i'm like Anyway, so if you hear it, I'm sorry, but there's nothing I can do about it now. Uh, next question is, do you prefer going barefoot or wearing shoes? <laughs> if you guys knew me, you would know that I'm the biggest germaphobe out there, especially when I travel. Like for instance, I'll be the one on the tube that won't touch anything. My friends know I don't speak to them on the tube because I don't want to open my mouth because of germs and it's so stuffy. And I basically take the bus everywhere, even though it takes me twice as long to get there i'll rather take the bus just because there's fresh air going in so to answer your question i do prefer wearing shoes at all times even when i'm just at home sitting around i've got like slippers on because ish, don't like don't like germs <laughs> what is it was it what is it like living in london and do i enjoy it so it's my second time in london and um i've really enjoyed every second of london last time i enjoyed it a lot Work wasn't as great as this time. I've been really blessed with a lot of work this time and um, I really, really enjoy every second. I have a few friends here from South Africa. Some of them do modeling, some of them don't. Some of them are from my church, some of them are family friends, but um, I've got a community that I can connect with here, which is so nice. And um, it really makes traveling alone, a bit less alone to know there's someone here. Um, so I would really say I really, really enjoy London. I really enjoy summer in London. I seriously don't think I would survive winter in London because being from Cape Town, I don't think like we even know what winter is because let's be honest, it really doesn't get that cold here if you compare it to like European winter. But summer in London, I love it. Um, the town and the city make such an effort to make summer so much more enjoyable with like events and stuff in the parks. By the way, my favorite thing to do in London is to picnic in the park. I know it's super lame, but I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. It involves eating and friends and just chilling and I love it. By the way, if I start sweating, it's really hot in London. Two days ago it was 39 degrees and it's not just like hot, it's so humid. Listen to the train. But I have to listen to every single one. But anyway, that's why also my window is like this bit open so there's not a lot of fresh air coming in. So if I start sweating, just bear with me. Even did my makeup for you guys, so be happy. <laughs> okay, the next question is, if I weren't a model, what other profession would I go into? So, after school, by the way, I finished school, I got my matric certificate and after school I um, studied business management online. I did that, to be honest, I don't even know exactly why I did business because nothing in me wants to go into business, but I kind of just did it because everyone told me if you have business behind you, then you can use business anywhere in anything you do. So I'm happy that I did that and I can always use it, but I definitely don't want to go into business. So from January, I'm going to start with education. As some of you might know, I'm absolutely obsessed with children. So I cannot wait to start studying education. Um, I'm gonna be doing it for the little ones, age about five to 10 or five to nine. And um, I'm super, super excited. Like I've actually, I'm, I've actually never been this excited to study again. So I'm really, really excited for that. And also I just feel like, the times that I haven't studied, like the last year or so that I haven't studied in this industry, is just 
it's too much mentally for me like this industry can be very shallow and very materialistic and to be honest i just need something deeper in my life than just thinking and breathing about modeling every day so i'm very very excited to start studying education soon would you ever travel to australia i would love to travel to australia firstly i feel like the girls there have bodies that i've never seen in my life before like I kind of wish I had a bit of Australian blood in me just so I can have their abs, which I'll never have. But anyway, that's so stupid to say. That's the reason I want to go. But no, I follow a few um, people and influencers and YouTubers from Australia. And what I've seen about the country just looks amazing. It kind of reminds me a lot of South Africa because there's so many beautiful landscapes. So I would love to go visit Australia and go try out all the healthy food cafes because that looks amazing. And as you guys might know, obsessed with food then the next question it's my favorite question do i want to have kids one day and how many <laughs> so i kind of want to tell my boyfriend to just stop here stop the video here click pause and like move on until the end of this question because this might scare him but if you know me you would know that all i basically want in life is to get married and have tons of children <laughs> sounds so stupid i know but i i um, think i'm born to be just the mother so i would love to have at least three biological children and you know fourth one pops out your girl won't be sad <laughs> also it depends on um i guess when i start getting children one day it also depends on where i am financially and i want to be able to give um the best for my children one day so i also, I also won't be stupid about it but i can't wait to have children probably won't be soon so don't get excited but i can't wait do i ever go blonde gosh i don't know so a few months ago i did a swatchkov campaign and they made my hair a bit lighter and i'll actually insert a photo here <laughs> um but i don't know it was a bit lighter for a few days and i just didn't feel like myself like i was excited to get it colored back to what it is and as you can see it's a bit few different colors at the moment but it's the road of getting back to natural but um i don't know i just did not feel like myself like i feel like also with my heavy brows the blonde just i don't know something didn't work so to be honest i don't think so i think the most riskiest thing i would ever do to my hair personally is probably go shorter this is a question i get like on the daily it, either it's on my dms or on comments or stuff like that but it's how many calories do i eat per day guys i'm so sorry to tell you this but i do not count calories for me i have counted calories in the past and to be honest it's just mentally messed me up um being in this industry you get faced with your weight and the way you look and how skinny you are and your measurements and everything every single day and I've done stupid stuff like trying different diets and going like on extreme exercises and stuff like that but to be honest none of them worked and most of them just like messed up my whole metabolism and for the last about year year and a half i've really been on the road of getting my metabolism back to normal and hence why i don't count calories all i do try to do when it comes to diet and stuff like that is i do try and eat as fresh as possible so I try and avoid processed food yes i do have it sometimes i do have some bread sometimes i do have some whatever crackers or something as you guys know i am celiac and i have a stomach hernia which means i can't have any wheat or gluten but otherwise i eat basically everything except um i try and cut out sugar as well but that's just because sugar is really bad for you and when i say sugar i don't mean um fruits and stuff natural sugars for me are perfectly fine and they keep me going give me the energy i need but when it comes to eating and calories and stuff i don't count calories i just try to have a balanced lifestyle trying to avoid sugar and processed foods and then i don't know i exercise probably like four or five times a week so either running or it's like a bar class or pilates class and i do give myself two or three rest days a week just because um i don't think I have to push my body to the max i think as, as long as i'm happy with what i'm doing and i feel good then that's perfectly fine the next question is a very personal question but i would love to answer it for you guys the next question is what in life am i most grateful for so i would say the first thing that i am most grateful for in life is being healthy and having a healthy body because i think i think we really take for granted that 
being healthy is actually something you need to be so grateful for because there's people out there who are struggling with stuff daily and I mean I have so many st stomach problems and whatever my skin's not fine sometimes but I'm in general I'm a healthy girl and I have a healthy body and for that I'm super grateful for then secondly I'm so grateful for my friends and family and the people in my life who really just matters and the people who really are there for me 24 7 those people I don't think I would be in this industry I don't think I would survive this industry I don't think I would survive life without those people so for them I can just say thank you thank you thank you and then thirdly I would say for Misha um if you guys don't know who she is um this is Misha and um one day when I feel comfortable I will tell our story but she's just the light of my life and to be honest I don't know what I would do without that kid like Oh, I miss her so much when I'm here. I want to actually start crying. But anyways. And then... Fourthly, I'm so grateful for having God in my life. And um, some of you might click off here because you aren't Christian or whatever. And I don't mind. Because I'm not going to force you into something. But personally for me, I don't know. I don't know how someone can live without having God in their life. I have to say, I think I found God about... Two years ago, I really gave my life to him completely, 110%. And after that, it's just like, I don't know how I would survive without having God in my life and having the love of God and the church and the support and everything in my life. I actually don't know. I can always turn to God, whether it's I'm sad, I'm happy, I'm, I can always turn to God. And for me, that's just something I'm so grateful for, is having found God and having that relationship with him that goes deeper deeper than any other relationship um i could ever have and then of course i'm so grateful for my boyfriend <laughs> and um he is really he's really a special guy like the fact that he has actually um always i don't know stuck by my side i mean i'm not an easy girl don't get me wrong i can i really be the biggest bitch if i <laughs> if i can say that but um I can really have my days and he's always just been there he's always supported me through everything with the modeling um times that i thought like i just want to give up he's always been there he's always supported me so him and my parents and misha and god and my friends i'm just so grateful for stuff like that and everything else all the materialistic stuff work stuff like that it's just it's second because without having those relationships in my life i don't know what i would have done so i'm just gonna go on my poll and i'm just gonna check if there's any few last questions that I can answer. So this one is, what is my tips on looking the best I can? I would say just being yourself. If you're a little bit weird or a little bit freaky, just be that. <laughs> no one cares. And if you're going to be natural and just be yourself, that's what's going to shine through at the end of the day. Um, not how much makeup you have or how pretty your hair is curled or the clothes you wear. Just be yourself. Um, that's going to win always. So... I would definitely, that would be my good advice. Okay, and then the last question that I'm going to answer for today is, how do you cope with negativity or judgment? To be honest, I just see it as building blocks. Yes, it isn't necessarily nice to hear stuff um, about yourself on the internet or on social media that is negative, but I just try and use it as a building block because it's supposed to build me and make me a better me, you know? So, um... I just read it, take it in, and then I analyze it and I just decide, you know what, I can just grow from this. So thank you so much for watching my Q&A, I really appreciate it. And um, please do me a big favor and like and subscribe to, to my channel. That would really help me tremendously to keep making videos like these and maybe also start doing some traveling videos. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope to see you in the next video.